So hi and welcome to this another episode with me Ashian in this video I'm going to talk about MS Ramaya Institute of Management and before making this video you know I mean a lot of my you know counselors said that ma'am students are asking please make a video on MS Ramaya Institute of Management is it a good option or not so I told them that you know you can say that you know to the students that ms ramaya is known for engineering and then later on i came to know that ms ramaya have a all total different campus which is known as institute of management which offer pgdm because there's this college called ms ramaya institute of technology where you find you know mba also engineering also which is affiliated to bangalore university but specifically to this campus which is at a different location you can get PGDM right and I'm going to review this institution that how good or bad this option is for you if you have this option in your list so let's get started I hope you guys are doing good because I am doing absolutely superb and I was just going through the points which I discussed with the students before making this video the reason why I'm making this video in English because I recently have been to Hyderabad and Bangalore and I interacted with a lot of students right in Bangalore and then I find out that more than 50% of the students who comes for their MBA or PGDM in Bangalore they belongs to location like Andhra Pradesh Kerala and they don't understand Hindi and that is the reason you know this year I decided that when it comes to colleges in Bangalore I'll prefer to make all those videos in English so that it will be easier for them to decide that either they should go for this option or not so yeah I mean uh, we're going to talk about MS Ramaya Institute of Management and uh, I've interacted with a couple of students. So as per student, Mathu Kere is basically the location where Ramaya Institute of Management is located. This is basically the campus. It's not a very big campus as per student, right? And if you feel like, you know, you'll find all the things in terms of outdoor, indoor. So that is not the thing here, right? Because talking about MS Ramaya, I mean, I think students who belongs to Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, I mean everybody have heard this college. The reason being is it is among top colleges for engineering and students pay a lump sum amount for even as donation to take admission into those colleges. So I mean I've seen not only with uh, you know with colleges in Bangalore with students who are who belongs to location like these but even pan India that if a university is offering some courses and the name is already being heard a lot of time so students think that you know everybody know about this college so we can easily take it it's a good option but they never kind of evaluate that the course for which we are basically going to the college either it is good or not and that is something which plays a very important role because I think you're making a huge investment for your PGTM or for your MBA so it should be worth right that out uh, uh, you know after your two years in terms of placements in terms of curriculum you should be satisfied yeah I have uh, you know given my last two years for my education and it should be worth it so I think I have given a lot of gravy a lot of explanation uh, so talking about the college so I miss from my institute of management studies which is known as RINS uh, you know uh, as business education established in the year 1995 right and uh, it comes under the same organization same foundation which is MS Ramaya foundation right and it has so many other colleges and more sort of few must have heard about it so these are basically accreditation for the girl I was talking to so their PGDM if we talk about is basically it is approved by AIU that means your PGDM is equivalent to MBA it has AICT approved because without AICT you cannot run PGDM. It has NBA accreditation, right? And I mean, all in all, you find all the affiliations and accreditations. So these are few, few certification programs which is being offered by the college. I didn't had a lot of interaction when it comes to the certification, but you can have a look because I think majority of colleges are already offering certification that is strategic cost management, AI for all, digital marketing. R for data analytics, leadership excellence, business strategy and all these certifications and I think it's not 
yet completed when it comes to certification. You have certification self uh, management through Bhagavad Gita, understanding stock market and investing, HR analytics, production and operation management. So you'll find all these certifications. For this, I would request you to uh, go to LinkedIn, talk to the students and then make a fair decision. Either you want to take it on, uh, I mean, how these certifications are good or not. Right, but I what I feel like you know all the colleges have started offering these certifications to add these value added, uh, you know, skills which is being required by the corporate. So I think it's all in all good thing. Now talking about the program, right? I mean, PGDM they offered full time program which is NB accredited, AI uh, AICT approved, which is major specialization include financial management, marketing management, HR management, operation management, and in minor I mean you can opt for minor and major. Aviation management, business analytics and data science, banking, financial services and insurance, entrepreneurship, healthcare management, international business, sports management, tourism and travel management. So all these specialization they offer. Apart from it, few other specialization like PGDM and entrepreneurship, PGP in sports management, PGP in management, PGP in financial analytics. So the students with whom I was interacting, they said that there are very few students when it comes to all these specialization. For example, talking about entrepreneurship, there was only four students in their batch when it comes to these specialization. So the number of students is quite less. And this is also something which is being mentioned by the students that this will increase with time but abhi you know they have only four students when it comes to entrepreneurship now talking about the eligibility criteria bachelor's degree something which is being required 50 percentile is something which is being required you can apply to all three examination it includes cat cmat atma zat mat and also you know kmat which is being conducted in karnataka specifically to take admission into all these colleges who are offering mba and as well as pgdm right so this is basically the entrance examination and eligibility this is basically the admission process application you need to fill you need to pay 100 1000 as the application fees micro presentation statement of purpose panel interview shortlist then you need to pay the registration payment and seat confirmation so this is basically the steps through which you can enroll to the college in short you know you need to fill the form you will go for all these interview process and based on that you will be able to make it I mean I think communication is not the problem with the students because majority of students who comes to colleges in Bangalore they're good with comms right that is not the issue they basically kind of evaluate your academics and overall profile and based on that they give you selection so the admission process is not that difficult that is just one thing now talking about the fee structure just college mein puja jayegi main bhi usi college mein jaunga main to us college mein nahi ja sakte kyun us college mein kya teachers nahi hai teachers hai par wahan mba nahi hota hai kya mba bhi hota hai lekin bas to ho gaya final main wahi jaunga har to most college mein nahi ja sakte raju ko girls college hai दूसरों को फॉलो करना बंद करो एम बी ए विद अर्जी सर्च करो नो द बेस्ट आर ओई कॉलेज विच यू डिजर्व बाई स्टूडेंट खबरी हर कॉलेज की खबर फिल द प्रोफाइल एनालिसिस फॉर्म गिव इन बिलो So we, we were discussing about the fee structure but before starting the fee structure I'll again repeat the same thing the kind of you know explanation I give you in the starting that you know when it comes to MBA or PGDM you're going to make a huge investment and it's a final investment what may, most of the students make for their education. So investing for a right college evaluating all the prospects and then finalizing the way you want to take it yourself plays a very important role right and let's say if you need any help if you want to reach out to the students I will suggest you know before taking admission still go talk to the students then finalize either you want to go for it or don't want to go for it and if you need any help from my side there's a profile analysis form which is there in the description box you can fill and ask all your queries related to MBA or PGTN. Now talking about the fee structure the fee structure is 9 lakh 30 thousand I mean the st uh, students with whom I was interacting with right they have mentioned me a fee structure of 8 lakhs as a total fees for two years but I think they have increased the fee structure which is 9 lakh 30 thousand so 50 thousand 20, 2 lakh 20 thousand first installment 2 lakh 20 thousand second installment third installment 2 lakh 20 thousand fourth installment 2 lakh 20 thousand and all in all 9 lakh 30 thousand this really doesn't include hostel 1 lakh 50 thousand hostel for double sharing so I think 3 lakh is for hostel so I think 9 10 11 12 12.5 lakh is an overall investment when it comes to your education including hostel food and mess right but on additional to that because obviously you will be exploring the city you might have some other expenses so additional one lakh rupees you can add so I think uh, 
12.5 is the investment when it comes to the fee structure in hostel and additional 50,000 you can 13 lakh is the total investment for your two year program. Now, this is basically the campus life, right? The campus, the Rama, MS Ramaya Institute of Management, right? I'm not talking about Institute of Technology. The campus is not very big, but you'll find the basic amenities which is being required, right? This is basically the campus. Now, batch profile talking about, right? I mean, the students with whom I was interacting with, they have mentioned that they have diversity students from North, from West Bengal, from Karnataka, from Tamil Nadu. You'll find students from all region. So 140 uh, I mean, is basically male and 93 is basically females, right? And they have mentioned the batch sizes, I think 260 in near about 260. And talking about UG background, right? They have 48 from uh, this engineering, 149 from commerce, pharma 23 and others is 13, right? Specialization, I mean, I think majority of students are from, uh, if I'm not wrong, finance, then marketing, then operations, sorry, then HR and then operations. This is basically minor, this is basically major, so this is basically the bifurcation of the specialization. Now, percentage wise placement. I mean, I don't know. This placement is uh, might be of, uh, you know, 2022. The student with whom I was interacting, she said, right, that, uh, I mean, I think this is 2022 placement, 2023. As per student is basically the recession kind of period where not much of companies coming, not only to MS Ramaya Institute of Management, but even to other colleges, uh, you know, the students have specified that either you talk about students from Christ or you talk about students from CMS Jain. I mean, all in all placements are quite same, you know, there are not much companies who are coming for the placement. So when it comes to the 2023 placements, the total number of placements is basically that only half percent. I mean, so far for 2023, placement is 50% only and the companies are still coming, but they are not recruiting so far, right? And I mean, recently when it comes to the TPO, the training and placement officer from MS Ramaya Institute of Management, uh, you know, the TPO has changed. The earlier TPO last year, the placement was 95% as per student, but this year, I mean, yeah. Uh, college is little struggling when it comes to uh, placement and student also specified that it is not because of that the college is not putting effort it is also because might be the recession is there and that might be a reason and I think the students with whom I was interacting they were in second year and they were also not placed right so that is this one issue which is being there for 2023 placements right so I think I've already told you key last year it was 90 95 percent because I don't want to I never you know talk about only negative thing or positive thing I kind of try my level best to put all the positive and negative thing that is the reason I mentioned that last year she mentioned not 95 90 percent placement was there but this year so far only 50 percent of the students are placed the new training and placement officer is trying their level best right in terms of you know bringing more companies but uh, yeah companies are coming but the, the students are not getting placed so that is this one thing average is 6.50 they have mentioned right so, but the students said the average is near about 5.56 lakh last year also and this year also it's pretty same. Lowest package is 4.5, right? And uh, when it comes to highest, she was not having much of idea. So, average is 5.56 lakh, right? And uh, I mean, this is I think last year placement report, 88 students uh, companies visited. These were the companies and I think I just want to add few more things before ending this video. Student mentioned the faculties are pretty good. They are very supportive, right? And in their batch, they, you know, there was only this summer internship option was there, which was for two months. But the new training and placement officer and I mean, they are kind of changing. They're even allow allowing students for do an internship for, you know, six months. You can do part times. You can try on your own. So, I mean, they're improving in terms of, you know, students can get more experience so that for them uh, it, it got easier for them to place but last year it's like uh, for this batch you know 2023 who was passed out who, who's about to pass out there were only two months of internship which was summer internship paid unpaid both but from this year you know they are just cha making changes when it comes to internship they can uh, you know they are giving a little relaxation to students who are uh, applying internship on their own the faculties have got good feedback that they're very supportive they are like they literally try to help students and everything campus life is pretty okay but uh, yeah this, uh, this year you know they are a little struggling with the placement they're trying their level best but might be because of the recession yeah are we 
the placement process is still going on. So again, I'm telling you by considering all these things, you need to decide that either you want to go for this college or not. Or if you need any help, then what other options you can apply for, you know, because I mean, I think a investment is huge and comparative to the investment, the average package is on a lower side. So ROI is something which you need to see. Baki, I mean, I'm all there to help you out. Let me know in the comment section what other colleges you want me to review. Baki, SE videos, clear. Do not forget to subscribe. I hope you like this video. For more such videos, keep watching our channel. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe.